Yo, welcome back again, viewers and subscribers. This is still BVI channel one where we tell you undiluted gospel truth. Nigerians, there is something big that is cooking that many of us have not seen yet. While men sleep in the wee hours of the night, the UN truck, peacekeeping truck, and uh, military truck we are being moved. It was recorded by someone in Benin and it was sent to me this morning. This is what is happening. Can you see? We are at the point of Nigeria. We don't know what is happening in Nigeria. I don't know what is happening in Nigeria. You can see we have so many UN peace, UN vehicles in Nigeria. So in Benin City, a mud car, entry Benin City. So we don't, at this time of the night, this is this is to turn. So see where these armored vehicles are. So we don't know if Nigeria is on fire. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. What is, look at military officers there. there's any war coming soon. We don't know if there's any war coming soon. Let us run, though. Let us run. This is UN. This is a UN peacekeeping vehicle. We don't know what is happening. We don't know what is happening. Can you see it? Can you imagine? Can you imagine the 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 the, the, the movement of these heavy trucks of UN peacekeeping? What is happening in Nigeria? Nigerian government, what are you people cooking? What are you preparing for Nigerians come 29th of May? They are seeing that something big is about to happen. Something big is about to happen in Nigeria. Because UN peacekeeping does not, you know, move around where there is peace. They move around where there is trouble. And for them to move these things in the wee hours of the night is to douse tension so that people will not know what is happening. But the eyes of the Nigerian people whom you have deprived sleep, you know, the atrocities of this country is giving Nigerians sleepless nights. And they were awake, keeping vigil, because of the bad governance you have brought upon them. And today, they don't catch this one. They don't record this one. And the thing where they think, say, na secret, you don't begin to unveil to the public. I am using this opportunity to tell Nigerians, I am not a prophet of doom. But I'm telling you, something big is cooking that your government is not telling you. And it will not be far-fetched from the APC plot to impose an illegitimate, unconstitutional government. Because they knew that truly, Nigerians will resist it. I'm just a voice, so... But I'm just saying this so that you get prepared, so that you don't get caught pants down, so that you don't get caught unawares and become victims of whatsoever thing that may happen. Because the language of this government in power is language of thuggery and criminality. Because if you see the way and manner they conducted this election and tried to impose an illegitimate government that have not met with the constitutional requirements. My brother, my sister, my people, <laughs> get prepared. Something big is about to happen. That is all I can tell you. I don't want any of you to fall victims. Okay? I don't want any of you to fall victims. Because they will unleash terror. And they are planning everything possible. They are doing everything possible. Planning and plotting to stir up this kind of confusion and label it the obedient movement are the ones fomenting trouble. But thank God we are conducting ourselves in the most 
organized and wise manner. Keep it on, Nigerians. They will not know what will hit them. But we are looking on to the judiciary. We are waiting on them to dispense justice and to defend the constitution of Nigeria. But when they fail, the sovereignty of Nigerians, which is in the hands of Nigerians, they will activate it. That is the truth. That is the truth. So Nigerians, be aware of what is happening. That is just why I'm making this video. I'm signing out. Please share this video to everyone, especially those living in Nigeria, so that they don't get caught up on our ways. I'm just a voice. I'm an advocate for good governance. I'm not a promoter of anarchy. If you're looking for the people that are promoting anarchy, look towards Jagaban, APC, and their talks. Help me share this video. Subscribe, like, and share. Drop a comment. I want to have your opinion on this. Bye-bye for now.